Jadi siang ini kami menyambut Wakil Presiden Bank Investasi Eropa, European Investment Bank yang berkantor di Luxembourg. Dua bulan yang lalu saya pergi ke Luxembourg melakukan pertemuan dengan beliau menyangkut investasi untuk pengembangan transportasi umum di Jakarta. Dan hari ini beliau membalas kunjungan itu. Tadi kita rapat di kantor MRT membahas tentang rencana pembiayaan untuk uh, MRT fase-fase berikutnya. They have a small shop. Will will they have a bakery in a small shop? Okay. Please join us for a photo. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put it here so they can have a picture here. Sini sini sini. Mas sini. Ininya bikinnya berapa sehari? Sehari itu sekitar uh, 200 sampai 400 pak kurang lebih. They're, they're making about 200 uh, loaf of bread every day. Yeah. How about the uh, the flour price, the wheat price? Uh, oh, the price, yeah. the price wheat. itself is about like bukan, harganya bahan tepung. bakunya, tepungnya. The wheat is yeah, is is increasing <laughs> quite quite significant actually in in past uh, two or three months, actually from the Ukraine war. Yeah. So, but we we still try to reduce the cost. So. We still survive up to now, and yeah. thankfully MRT just give us a chance to open up here. This is our second day, actually. Okay. Our wow. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Day. Wow. <laughs> so yeah. Me, this is Papa Chris, mm -hmm. uh, Vice President of European Investment Bank. Oh, I see. From Luxembourg. Nice to meet you. Luxembourg. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. How's Indonesia? <laughs> How's Indonesia? <laughs> Very well. Thank yeah. you. Very well. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Listen to Nipa me too. Oh, yeah. How long will you be here? Uh, hopefully for forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good answer. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, I know. No way. Because they will have to take turn. Yeah. <laughs> and the ambassadors will come tomorrow to buy some. <laughs> and this mural, it shows our Jakarta. That's a Jakarta International Stadium. Oh, yeah. And then we have the Formula E, you have the MRT, and this is new. And then here is our friend from Berlin that built the mural. Boleh, 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 boleh. Okay. All right. Dari mana? Mister Anis, aku dari Bogor. Depok. Mister Anis, aku berdua boleh nggak pak? Mister Anis. Ya. Bapak, aku berdua boleh? Ya, boleh, boleh. This coffee, this shop, is for the for the people of disabilities. Okay. So it says, I am deaf. Okay. Okay. And then we have sign how to order. In the okay. in the in the uh, hand hand language. Okay. We can we can point, but uh, you can actually use this. Okay. Right. So again, this is one way of us educating the public about respecting people with disabilities, and they need to be incorporated into our life. Okay. It may be something new yeah, because it's very uh, very. Pak Dubes. I need to keep get get your coffee too. Which one you prefer? It's the first time that I see, uh, I see that. And now you know, after we did this, they have so many stores. Only deaf uh, people were having the store. The, and people okay. come with the uniqueness. Look, in these stations, every day, we have no less than 250,000 people come and go. Yeah. 250,000. So you can benefit a lot by exposing this. Yeah, yeah. And now, a store like this is everywhere in the city. Yeah. Empowerment. It is truly empowerment. And we, you know, we never imagined that the impact is so fast. Honestly, when we had this, it was we never imagined it will be replicated so quickly. How the public responded in a, in an empathic way. So they actually search for a coffee shop by the deaf or by people yeah. of disabilities.
Yeah. Now it's everywhere in the city. But and that, we, that we is only in Jakarta? It's, it's, it's only in, in invention? Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations, no. that is unique. Yeah, yeah, we started this in 2018. Right. Now it's everywhere in the city. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so many of the things that we're doing in public is for public education in mind. Uh, because in the past people with disability have difficulties to find jobs, to find a position. And, and, and in generally, traditionally, people said, we'll take care of you. You don't have to work, you don't have to do anything, we'll take care of you. That's the traditional thought whenever it comes to disability. And, you know, we're talking about empowerment. We're talking about having them, you know, in having an independent uh, uh, life. So, dari mana? Dari Depok, Pak. Depok, Pak. Dari Depok, lagi jalan-jalan. Kerja apa? Apa, Pak? Pak, betul dong, Pak. Ya, 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 boleh, boleh. Pak, 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 Pak. What happened is they're coming from the surrounding of Jakarta. Okay. And they're actually from middle low socioeconomic status. Okay. Okay. In the past, this area is a central of business activities. Mm -hmm. Only those who work in the business communities in this area. Now, after we created this new space, it like democratizing the space. Okay. It becomes space of everyone. Yeah, for me, it's uh, very important to be here with the governor. And I must say that the governor is a front runner when you look to the investments that he have done in Jakarta and will done. And for us, it's a great pleasure to be part of these investments. We hope that uh, we can do a lot together uh, because uh, the values that the governor um, uh, complete, uh, like this, this coffee shop and so on, are very, very uh, important also for us. European values uh, that we like very much uh, when the governor is one of uh, the front runners also to uh, make this very concrete in Indonesia. Uh, we are delighted to work with the governor. Thank you.